Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we celebrate our heroes. I'm your host, E, and today, unfortunately, I have some very sad news. Cormac McCarthy passed away yesterday. For those of you expecting a Thursday, sorry, a Stephen King theorist video today, there won't be one. Instead, I want to sit with you guys and celebrate uh, my, one of my favorite authors and a man who I believe was our greatest living novelist. Cormac McCarthy, the very first book that I read of his was Blood Meridian, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, some people complain about his lack of punctuation or quotation marks, um, but I've never had an issue with that. Uh, to, to celebrate his, his work and his life, I'm going to show you guys my book collection. Um, some of these I bought myself, some were gifts um, from really good friends of mine. And I'm just going to go through them, tell you the ones that I've read and the ones that I'm planning to read. Uh, he has just, just last year, he published two more books. Um, I believe one was in the summer or fall and the other one was uh, in the winter. Uh, but we're going to start off with those. I have not read them yet. Uh, these are the hardcovers. You have, sorry, The Passenger. And you have Stella Maris, I believe is how you pronounce it. And together, they make this cover. Kind of. They don't really fit together all that well. But, uh, yeah, there's the, here's the spines. I have not read these yet, uh, but I, I plan on getting them very soon. Uh, I, want, I even toyed with the idea of doing a Cormac McCarthy theorist. Uh, he doesn't write about worlds or, or fantasy or any of that stuff, but I thought it'd be cool to go in and try to, you know, piece together certain characters and whatnot. Now on to the books that I have read. Uh, this book is touted by many as being their favorite, uh, Cormac McCarthy. It's usually either this one or it's uh, Blood Meridian. And I will tell you my favorites as we go along, but uh, this one is The Road, which was, of course, made into a movie starring Viggo Mortensen. Uh, it's a very affecting piece of literature. It's a very affecting movie, um, and they're ra really, really close. I think they're about as close as they could possibly get. Um, but yeah, this one, uh, they should be in order of publication. So this is the last book that he published uh, before The Passenger. Um, I believe there was a span of 16 years between them. I could be wrong. Um, I haven't, I haven't gone into much research about you know the chronological chronological order of his books or uh, when they were published so i apologize for that uh the next one is no country for old men which is another fantastic adaptation starring tommy lee jones and josh broden is that his name uh this is this is one of those those books where the ending i think is absolutely pitch perfect for the stuff that came before it especially in the adaptation where tommy lee jones is just sitting there talking um, and it, it's a very poignant uh, final bit of dialogue from Tommy Lee Jones, and I think it was absolutely pitch perfect. All right, so uh, the next ones, I have not read these, um, and I have two different versions of them. I used to have three, uh, but I sent the paperbacks to a friend after my friend Josh sent me this one. This is the Border Trilogy, um, which has... All the Pretty Horses, The Crossing, and Cities of the Plain. And this is a, let's see here, Everyman's Library edition. It collects all three books in this one edition. Um, and it's a chonker. It's about 1,000 pages. I believe each one of these books is three to 400 pages in the series. But yeah, it's a very, very basic design. There's the man himself, Cormac McCarthy. Uh, and then I have the hardcovers of each. Uh, they, I do have to do some sticker work. But this is Cities of the Plain, which I believe is the last book. Yeah, it's the, fin it's the final one. So we're going in reverse. This is book three, Cities uh, of the Plain. And then we have The Crossing, which is book two, I believe. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah. And then finally, we have All the Pretty Horses. His covers were always super understated. Um, sometimes I loved it. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I didn't. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of The Passenger and Stella Maris. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do like some of his understated covers. I think the cover for The Road is, is brilliant. Just the, the black cover with the 
<clears throat> with the title and byline on it. Next up, we have my personal other. Well, I have two favorites. Um, they're they're tied. I can't pick one of the uh, over the other. I know several people are going to disagree with this, but that's not what this is about. I would love to hear the books that you loved from this author, from Cormac McCarthy, down there in the comments. I want to celebrate his life um, instead of mourning his death. I want to celebrate his life by talking about the books that he wrote that meant the world to me, meant the world to you. Um, so, yeah, please please no comments about how you couldn't get into them, so on and so forth. Um, just let this be a, a fan thread. Uh, next up, we have Blood Meridian, which is tied for my favorite of his work. The Judge, the character of the Judge in this one is absolutely terrifying. And the, uh, the hints and nods um, that he might be the devil certain stuff like that um but the language in this is probably his most beautiful beautiful writing next up we have another one i have not read uh i know josh i'm getting to it i'm getting to it but this is my buddy josh's favorite uh book of his and that's Sutri. um i have no idea what this one is about i'm not i believe it's another western but i could be completely off base and i don't want to know what it's about i go into cormac mccarthy's work completely blind um other than the road i ended up watching the movie first and then reading the book but uh yeah this uh i'll get to this one uh very very soon uh next up we have my second well not second they this one's tied with blood meridian and that's outer Sorry, not Outer Dark. Outer Dark's the next one. This is Child of God. Um, this book, I feel this is literary horror done exceedingly well. Probably my favorite literary horror. And when I call him an, a horror author, uh, people roll their eyes or disagree with me. But horror in the sense of horror as an emotion. It is a deeply affecting, brutal, ugly and just amazingly written. So that's Child of God. Next up, we have Outer Dark, which is the last book of his that I have read. Um, it seemed like for a while there I was going backward. I had read all the new stuff, but I will be going through and rereading all of his stuff in order of publication just because I like doing that. I'm a nerd in that sense. I love reading an author's uh, progression as they get older. Um, Outer Dark is a very upsetting story. Um, about a baby uh, created out of incest, a brother and sister, um, and the journey that they go on, the brother lies, and all this stuff is on the back cover, the brother lies about having killed the child out in the woods, but he actually just passed it along, and the sister goes on a journey to try and find the baby, and it goes places I never would have expected. Uh, for me, this is the closest thing McCarthy has done to a supernatural novel, but even those elements are just hinted at, and he never gives you a definite. Um, the last book I have of his in my collection, I know I'm missing some scripts, I'm missing some plays, I'm missing some other things, but I, I believe I have all of his novels. Uh, you guys can let me know. Um, I didn't have much time to do this video, so that's why I didn't research certain things. But please, if I say anything wrong, as always, correct me down there in the description. Um, if I get something major wrong and you want to correct it, I'll pin it. Um, but The Orchard Keeper is uh, another one that I have not read. So I still need to read The Border Trilogy. I need to. Re I got a bunch of stuff, and I'm very happy that I still have so many of his books to read because, it, you know, we're, not going to, we're probably not going to get anything else from him. But yeah, The Orchard Keeper, I have no idea what this is about. I believe it's about a serial killer. Um, he wrote a lot of westerns. He wrote a lot of... Uh, well. Not only did he write a lot of westerns, but all of his books are horribly tragic, but he somehow still managed to retain the beauty of the world, even when he's writing about the most crazy, fucked up shit. So yeah, uh, rest in peace, Cormac McCarthy. You are definitely, definitely going to be missed, especially by me, and I'm sure countless others. But until next time, I'll hail the chair.